Hey y'all, today we are talking about all things setting powder. So your loose setting powder, your foundation face powders, like what's the difference? Why do we need both? Like give me the tea. I'ma show y'all not only why you need them both, but also how to use them. So let's get into it. I can break it down, take it back to the basics. My face is already beat tunny. The under eyes are slayed and smooth, okay? but. My face is not set yet. When setting concealer, like my go-to is to use a loose setting powder. As far as shades of loose setting powders that I recommend, I recommend translucent setting powder or one that's similar to your concealer shade. So I use a light, more yellowy concealer. So I'm gonna use a more light yellowy setting powder or like a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Um, you don't wanna set under your eyes with a darker shade than whatever your concealer is. Like, that's a no-no, it's gonna make a weird shadow under your eyes. Lately, pink setting powders have been trending and pink may work for you if you're going for that look or you want something that um, kinda gives you a different brightness vibe up under there so that's a shade you can also try but for me um loose setting powder is the way to go when it comes to setting your concealer so we're gonna set my concealer so before you set your under eye you want to make sure you go in and tap up under where you put your concealer to make sure all of your creases are gone right you don't want any creases before you set your face because when you set your face you're just if you're setting creases it's just gonna look more creasy so you want to make sure you you know set your face one more good time before you go in with your setting powder this is the one size um setting powder and this is in the shade sweet honey i'm gonna take this just because it's what i have on hand it is a little bit more yellow and I'm taking a powder puff to set under my eyes. So once you dap in your powder, you wanna dap that excess on the back of your hand because you want it to be a smooth application of the setting powder. And again, because I've been blinking, I'm gonna go ahead and press, make sure all my creases are out. And then I'm gonna take that setting powder and press right up under there where I conceal. So next, I want to briefly touch on what you set your face with when you're using um, like a loose powder. So you can either use a powder puff. This one is insanely large just cause I got it in PR. You can use a beauty blender or you can use a brush. Um, so it's totally up to you um which tool you use to apply the loose powder i feel like when i want like a flawless look i go for the powder puff if i want like just an everyday but i want full coverage and i want to pack it on and bake i'll use a sponge or if i'm going for more a skin like finish and i just want something lightweight coverage then i'll use a brush and just dust on the setting powder under my eyes now you can use setting powder like if i use a sponge i would do the same thing and tap off the excess underneath and then you see how uh much more powder went on i just feel like the sponge gives you more powder coverage right okay and then you can use it to set everywhere where you put concealer you can also use it um, sometimes you'll see people like chisel their chin so they'll take like setting powder and kind of make this line right here and clean up their contour this is when I feel like if you put in powder down here like you're trying to like really look snatched like you trying to do some geometry right i don't feel like this is necessary unless you're doing like a red carpet look prom or you just like really want a beat face that's when i'll go in and do this number right here or if you poorly applied like your bronzer and you did too much or something like that and you're trying to clean it up then i would do this number right here but this is all that you would use a loose setting powder for for the most part sometimes if you're like doing glitter eyeshadow or something 
and you have loose glitter falling out sometimes i'll take a brush dip it in some loose powder and then dust my face off because i feel like it helps pick up that loose glitter that's besides the point but for loose setting powder this is its purpose in my opinion like it's to set the concealer that you put on your face right so next you have finishing powder so that may be like a pressed foundation powder that may be something like the sephora micro smooth powder any like powder that's in a palette like this which i feel like powder foundation People all kind of use it nowadays, I feel like, as a finishing powder. Like, you don't hear about that many people actually only using, like, a powder foundation instead of liquid foundation anymore. Um, so, I like to use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. A drugstore version or something similar would be, like, the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed, um, Matte Poreless Pressed Powder. Um, these are different type of powders that I would consider like a finishing powder or like a face powder. One of my tips for a flawless face is, you know, if you wet it, you got to set it. So shout out Nikki Tutorials. Um, so if you're going to set all the places you put concealer with a loose setting powder, why would you just avoid where you put you know your foundation? That was liquid too. So I like to use like a, because it's not as... I guess creamy of a product as a concealer that's why i feel like a finishing powder is doable for setting the rest of your face so i would then take like i'm gonna use my sephora micro smooth powder i would apply this with a big fluffy brush and i like to do this and set like basically like the lower thirds of your face because that is where you applied your foundation now another great thing about a finishing powder and this is why i feel like you need both is it helps you blend out this um setting powder that you put on your face so i'm gonna do this side first and i'm gonna i have a little bit of that foundation face powder on my brush as i'm just like blending out and dusting off the excess loose powder right so you see how all of this kind of like just melted together on this side right it's melted together melting like butter so if I did this side and I just took like let me take a clean brush and I just tried to like dust off this powder I feel like it has more of a harsh demarcation of like where the powder once was whereas like this side it's just melting like butter you know what i'm saying so that's why i feel like you need both just to make everything melt in and just look so flawless like what so as you can see like the face is the face is melted the face looks good and then you may be like, okay, girl, well, what about setting spray? Like, what's her purpose? Baby, setting spray is going to add that moisture back into your face. It's going to seal all of this together like some glue, okay? So it's going to make your butter stay in place. So this is my, oh, now she running out. <laughs> this is my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I do have some of my luminous setting mist but baby girl is on on her last now your finishing powder is going to be basically the same shade as your foundation like she's not going to be lighter she's not going to be darker she's going to be the same shade as your foundation or you know in that ballpark now like i said you can use a foundation face powder like the juvia's place one these usually have really great formulas where you could use this as like a bronzer or what have you i use this um in the shade zaria as a bronzer on my face today and i feel like it just melted like butter <laughs> um so yeah those are my favorite uses for loose setting powders and press setting powders and my opinion on why i think you need both so y'all let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite way to set i want to know are you still baking your face like a cake 
and using all that powder or what are we doing sis so again just to recap your loose setting powder is to basically enhance the longevity of your makeup look so setting your concealer making sure that it's long lasting and it's like a flawless finish and then of course your finishing powder is going to be like your finishing touch it is going to be what enhances the overall look what makes everything just kind of blend and mesh together and lastly i feel like you need both because they complement each other your loose setting powder is going to snatch those areas where you conceal and then your finishing powder is going to blend everything in while setting that foundation so i went off camera and finished my face and this is how it's looking and y'all all i got to say is it's giving parquet is giving Lando Lakes. It is giving great bat. It ain't giving great value. It's giving Lando Lakes. Okay, this is giving you butter, butter, and like the RSA butter make it taste better, honey. So get yes, get into it. It's looking good. And this is the power of utilizing your loose setting powders and your foundation face powders, like your finishing powders with the loose setting powders. Like it's a chef's kiss combination so again more affordable versions of these products that you can use is the maybelline fit me they have a loose setting powder and they have the press foundation um fit me powders that both work very well for the same uses of this video like i use my one size powder um again the micro smooth powder from sephora collection is chef's kiss like i've purchased this at least five or six times at this point because I love this and I use it pretty much every day like this is my go-to over any other pressed powder um this is going to be more of a sheer coverage finishing powder versus your foundation powders but if you need more coverage and you want a more full coverage look go for those foundation face powders like the Maybelline has the 24 hour um, super stay powder foundation which is a really good one um, Fenty Beauty has the power powder foundation like any foundation like that is going to give you more um, coverage as far as for the face powder um, loose setting powders y'all know my holy grail is the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder so make sure you check that out again they have the travel size if you want to save some coins and still try out the high-end product and like i said if you're looking for the drugstore definitely check out maybelline um the fit me line so yeah so i know that was a mouthful but i wanted to give y'all you know all the tea and make sure y'all are feeling educated and everything like that i'm gonna add this video to the beginner makeup series so if you're a beginner or you just want to up your makeup game and learn a little bit more i hope you guys learned something from today's video if you did make sure you like this video and subscribe and y'all never forget at the end of the day without regrets love yourself and be you tip bye y'all